So what do you get when you combine two talented artists, one from ASU and another one from an entirely different country, to create one theme? Well, you get an incredible exhibition. Photojournalist David Mills takes us inside a Scottsdale gallery to see the artist opening called Mirror. So you want to put that piece I was thinking, what if you put that, that piece there yeah. and that piece in the window? You can try it. Yeah. No, actually, I'll just move this one over here. Ling Ling. It might be better from this angle since you can see the figure. Pascal and I met eight years ago or so. Something I love about that piece is the branch is floating on the base. I like that. We are very good friends. We met at the gallery. Um, I think we have a lot of in common. Her being American and living in Australia, me being French, living in the United States. The significance, I believe, is these two incredible artists coming together and sharing a vision and not being in the same room as they created these incredible works. We walked into the space and because it's kind of um, elongated, we thought um, of doing a similar scale work that mirrors each other. They are reflecting each other's art and you can see from side to side in the gallery. Jennifer had, had her piece done already. So I had to apply my, my part on her, on her piece. Well, my piece was originally titled By the Time I Get to Phoenix, and so it was a little bit of a, a play on um, a Glenn Campbell song, and Pascal lives in um, New Mexico, so this piece is called By the Time I Get to Albuquerque. There's a silent auction on this collaborative piece that will go to benefit Arizona Helping Hands. It's important that Calvin Charles Gallery be involved in the community. Arizona Helping Hands was chosen because uh, it's, well, it's well known around here and we agree with their philosophy and their mission statement. Our work looks very different. She's figurative, I'm abstract, she's using metal, I'm using wood. But um, I think we have, uh, we, we are just saying the same thing with a different language. The title of this piece is The Sight and it's um, to me a kind of a photography of a picture of one moment of a landscape or of a feeling of a landscape without to be uh, figurative. I keep my work to be abstract. So it's an, idea, it's an idea of how I felt at one moment around the landscape and I reproduced it in my way. Um, so this piece in particular, it's called um, Caught Dreaming Where the Wildflowers Grow. And the two panels kind of represent the two sides of myself. I, um, was raised in Phoenix and went to ASU and spent my childhood here. And about 11 years ago, I migrated to Melbourne, Australia. And so I see this piece as um, a sort of contemplative piece, um, kind of growing between my two worlds and learning to adapt. I did create my pieces here in the United States and she did create most of her pieces in Australia and some here, I think. And then we put them together. And then the first time I saw her pieces, was when she installed it for the show. Subconsciously, I think what we, we, we liked about it is to be challenged a little bit. Because she did some pieces, then she had to apply on my work, and I did some pieces, then I had to apply on her work. And, uh, and I think that challenge was pretty cool. I had a feeling it would work, but um, it's nice to actually see it presented on the walls, and, and, um, and it came together beautifully, I think. That is impressive. Beautiful photography, too. Mirror Exhibition opens tonight at 7 o'clock at Calvin Charles Gallery in Scottsdale. And for more information, you can call 480-421-1818. They'll be able to direct you to how to get there.